So as you can see, I do not have this beautiful sugar blossom scented soy candle lit right now because I don't have any lighters that work right now. So we're just going to have to deal with the fact that I have this beautiful candle sitting right here that smells like nothing now and is not not lit. But you know, that's the thing about being a YouTuber. You gotta have the candle, so we're just gonna pretend and you're just gonna just gonna pretend. Okay. Okay. Hey what's up everybody? It's Amaya. So today's video is going to be my Boxy Charm unboxing, the first one of the new year. I am so excited. So if you guys don't know what Boxy Charm is, it is a makeup subscription box. You get it monthly. It's $21 a month, and you get over $100 to usually like almost $120 worth of products a month in your box, which is awesome. They're typically all full size or they are deluxe travel size. So that's a pretty awesome. Okay, so this is the box for this month. Um, this is the card and it says Rock 2018, which I think is really cute. So the whole theme is like rock and roll. It says rock and roll soul on the back here. This is a list of all the items that you get in your box and how much they cost and just kind of a description of them and all that sorts of good stuff. So I'm going to put that over here for a little reference. So these are the products that are inside this box. So the first thing I see in here is this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. So this retails for $38 and it says it delivers a natural radiant glow while blurring pores and imperfections for a beautifully illuminated flawless complexion. So that makes me super happy because I am the type of person who always always uses a blurring primer on my face. I just feel like it helps my makeup stay better and I feel like it looks better. But because I have dry skin, a lot of times I will use an illuminating primer after that. So the fact that this is like the best of both worlds right now is kind of making me very, very excited. So it comes out like a nude beige sort of color. It's just, it smells like lavender. Oh, that's interesting. As I'm putting it on my skin, it's starting to feel a little bit tacky, but not in like a bad way, not like bad sticky, like good sticky, like it's going to keep my makeup on. It's very smooth on the skin. It's not feeling like greasy or oily or anything like that, but it also doesn't feel drying. I can definitely see a sheen, but I don't really see any like chunky glitter or anything like that. There's like shimmer, but it's not chunky. So looking up close, I don't really notice that it like necessarily made my pores any smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and just on one side of my face put a little bit of the Benefit Professional just to see how that looks after I put on foundation. I'm just kind of curious to see. So I'm gonna put it on this side of my face right here. I would say I'm not like super impressed with it right now, but not mad at it either. Next we have a brow product. This is the It Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. So this says it retails for $24 and it was developed by Plastic Surgeons. That's kind of interesting. Its exclusive oval tip mimics the look of real hair and it includes a built-in grooming spoolie brush for a polished perfection. Basically, this is supposed to be a universal brow pencil, which I think is kind of a broad claim to say that something is universal because so many people have so many different undertones. like. A redhead can't use the same brow pencil that I use. Like, I don't know. I'm a skeptic to say the least. That is what it looks like. It's a nice cool tone brown shade, which is interesting. And it is oval. It's not circular like a lot of ones or it's not triangular either. So kind of interested to see how this goes. Okay, so I am going to just zoom you in real fast to do my brows. I'm going to go in and start. Okay, so, so far I'm having a little bit of difficulty with this because my hair is very dark on my eyebrows. That's not my brow color, you know, so it's very warm as well. It's like a very yellowy brown almost, a very warm brown, and it's not really working. This is what my typical eyebrow pencil color looks like, and this actually matches me fairly well. As you can see, it's a lot more cool tone. It's a lot darker. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my brows, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just went and finished up my brows, so we're all done. I just think that this is a great product for not me. Someone who's not me, who doesn't have eyebrows this dark, someone who is a typical brunette, 
even a blonde I think could use this just for me it's not gonna work which is kind of sad okie dokie so we have an eyeshadow palette in here and this is the crown brush glam metals palette so this retails for $25 and it says they are highly pigmented ultra blendable shadows that make smoky eye looks a breeze so I love the packaging of this I think it's super cool and grungy I mean you don't really see any palettes like this I've never seen one look like this and I typically like this square shape of palette I just think it's nice size so this is what we are working with on the inside um, again really really cute you have these nice pan sizes it reminds me a lot of my winky Lux palette it's basically the same the shadows are basically the same size you only have one matte shadow in here which is this black over here which for me it's kind of disappointing because I like to do matte eyeshadow looks but I mean it's called glam metals so it's a metallic palette obviously and I love the mirror in here I don't want to blind you guys Ugh. I love the mirror in here because it's a guitar how cute is that With, like wings because this only has metallics I'm going to swatch a few shades and then do an eye look incorporating one of these but unfortunately I'm going to have to include another palette I'm going to use the elf mad format to eyeshadow palette so I'm going to swatch rebel right here Ooh, beautiful I want to swatch pop rock down here Ooh, that's like a nice green. Um, I'm gonna swatch punk and I'll swatch black metal, which is the matte shade. So this is what they look like. Let's see, as you can see, woo, that is gorgeous. Um, here is that nice silvery shade. Very, very pretty. Here is the green. That's really gorgeous. And then here is the black. So it's kind of like a smoky gray black, I would say. Here's the other green shade in the palette that's like kind of an antique gold. There is that nice rusty red brown. And there is that other darker gray. These are really cool colors that you don't typically see. They're like neutral and they're muted and they're grungy, but they're also different. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into the e.l.f. palette and use the matte white shade in there to just set all of that concealer and primer down. Okie dokie, so I'm just gonna start off with this shade right here. It's a nice warm transition shade. I'm just gonna apply that to my crease. Okay, and I'm just gonna go in with these two browns right here and just kind of do the same thing, keeping it just a little bit lower. Okay, and then lastly, I'm just going to go in with this peachy shade right there to just add a little bit of peachiness to this look. Because I love this shade, so basically I just want to incorporate it any way I can. I'm just doing this all in the same brush, by the way, because I'm lazy. This is the Morphe M504. Okie dokie, so I'm going to go in to the shade Rebel, I think, because it's this nice coppery color. It's just calling my name. I'm just going to pick this up with my Luxie 239. So that applied really beautifully. It's not super like crazy foiled metallic, um, but I also applied it with a brush and without spraying it. So let me just go ahead and... Okay, so yeah, that definitely intensified it. It's a very, very pretty shade. I like that a lot. I didn't add any glitter glue or anything to this, which I would probably do the next time I use it just to try it out and see. Then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M433 and I'm going to go into a black metal over here, this matte shade. And I'm just going to put this kind of on the outer corner close to the lash line just to add a little bit of smokiness. Probably should have done this before I put the shimmery shadow on, but we can make it work, right? It's not super intense. It's not crazy pigmented. You can kind of build it up and create a really nice effect. Okay, so that is what the finished eye look looks like. Really pretty, that was actually quite fast. Like, that took me like five minutes maybe to do that whole eye look. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in, apply my foundation and my concealer and my powder, and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so I just went in and I finished up the eyes. I have my foundation, concealer, powder, all on, so we are ready for this next product in here. This is the um, Pure Bronze and Brighten Cheek Palette. So this is what it looks like. It's super cute. It's actually wrapped in plastic, so 
I need scissors. So this is what the palette looks like. There's a giant mirror right here, but it's gonna flash you all if I show you. So we have a, what looks like a blush color, a bronzer, and a highlighter right here. They are all shimmery. So this retails for $34, and it says it's an on-the-go highlight, bronzer, and blush palette with three skin protecting powders that create an effortless and sun-kissed glow on every skin tone. So it has blushing glow, afterglow, and mineral glow. These are very creamy, sort of like almost thick powders. Look at the, you guys. What the, what the heck? That's a, that's a bronzer. That's more pigmented than the eyeshadows in the eyeshadow palette. What the heck? And it's so creamy, almost like gel-like. Like look how, look, oh my god. Um, if it's anything like the last bronzer palette that was in the last BoxyCharm, uh, things are not gonna go well. But hopefully, hopefully this works okay. So I'm gonna go in with my blush brush from Real Techniques because it's very big and fluffy. I'm hoping to kind of diffuse this. Okay, so it's actually a lot better than I thought. It doesn't seem to be sticking down in any weird places and it's not glittery. I definitely see a nice glow. And it's not super warm, but it's not, obviously not cool toned either. This just gives me a really nice glow. I actually really like this. Okay, next we're gonna go in with the blush shade, which is a really pretty like apricot with like some gold in there. So I'm just gonna very lightly begin to apply this because I feel like this could get really heavy handed again. There's no glitter chunks. It's a very pretty shade. Okay, now I'm so excited for this highlight, you guys. So I'm just gonna dip in with my Morphe M501 brush and let's just apply this. <gasps> oh, do you guys see that? That is stunning. It's a beautiful color. Um, it definitely has a lot of shimmer in there, but it's not like a chunky glitter or anything like that. It's applying very beautifully on the skin. The shade is just perfect for me. Now I applied inner corner highlight, but we're just gonna apply a little bit more and also a little bit more on the brow bone. Also already applied brow bone highlight, but who cares, right? Because this is gorgeous. It makes me so happy. I really didn't think I was gonna love this, but I feel like I look really good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna give you an update on the primer real fast. Um, looking at my skin up close, I don't really notice a difference from one side to the next. They look very similar, and I did notice when I was applying my foundation there was a nice glow to my skin, which I liked. Okay, so the last thing in here is this Girlactic Matte Lip Paint. I'm so excited because I've never tried any of the Girlactic Lip Paints. They've been around forever. Retails for $23, and it says it's one of the original liquid lipstick formulas that is still true to its words. It's lightweight, long-wearing, non-cracking, and won't settle. I love the packaging. So cute. So I'm going to open this up. This is in the shade Posh which looks, it's kind of a moussey formula. And the shade Posh is like a mauve peachy nude. Very, very gorgeous. This is totally a shade that I would, I would definitely wear. It smells good. It smells like frosting. It doesn't smell like cake batter really. It kind of smells like frosting. So it's definitely very moussey and very pigmented, but definitely very moussey. Um, it's not like one of these super liquidy lipsticks that just kind of dries down right away when you put it on your lips, which I actually kind of like. Yeah, so far I'm very happy with this. It feels very comfortable on the lips, kind of smooth over all of the lines. Yeah, I'm really happy with this so far. Okay, so makeup is completely finished. I'm gonna go through all of the products and give you kind of my final first impression on them. So eyebrow pencil is a no from me. I just don't see myself using it because I really didn't like how it made my brows look. As far as the primer went, I really like it. My foundation applied normal. I think that I still have a really nice airbrushed, pore-filled finish, which I typically do. At least in my opinion, I think I do. Eyeshadow palette, really, really gorgeous on the eyes. As you can see, this color is so gorgeous, so pigmented. I really like it. I think it's good. I'll continue to use it. I kind of want to play with some of the more colorful shades in here. As far as the pure bronze and brightened cheek palette, 
I surprisingly like this a lot. I feel like I look very glowy, but I don't look sparkly. I don't feel like it's emphasizing any texture on my face, no more than highlighter or shimmery bronzers typically do anyways. And then last but not least, this lip color, you guys. It's so pretty. I love the shade of it. It's a beautiful, like, red nude. Kind of like a darker, deep nude. It's not quite a brick red. It's not quite a nude. It's, like, kind of in between. Definitely one of my favorite shades. I have so many lip colors in this shade. I just really love it. Um, very warm, very beautiful. So the total for this month's box is $144, which is insane. That's crazy. Everything in here is... <sighs> Full size everything in here is really really great and 144 dollars that's awesome for especially for only 21 dollars a month so that's it for this video you guys i hope you guys like it please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already let me know what you thought about these products in the comments below if you got different ones in your boxy charm what did you think of them and yeah i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye it's delicious.